after we call a rib, and it's about 42 or 44, or maybe 46 feet long. The Eagle Phoenix Crib Dam began construction in 1865, right after the Civil War. We began disassembling the dam in January of 2012. All the recovered components of the dam, wood and metal, have been transported to Marshall Lumber in Montgomery. And these are the rafters, and if you look right over there, we still have that much crib dam to disassemble. Is the water is washing away the silt, and you can see the framing on the timber frame. What's neat about these, they're really long, that's one thing. Each one of these was one tree. It's long leaf pine, it's all hard. They're tapered. They weren't like that in the beginning, but over the years, the Chattahoochee River has got such force right here that it has been tapered, and all that's fat lighter. It's not sapwood. It's not soft at all. This is very hard. And they had piles and piles of beams, and they had guys sitting there making them into the pieces of this dam. There were rafters. There were uprights. There's mud seals. There's um, all kinds of anchor pads underneath these that they would cut with an axe to fit these rocks. But let's go over here and look and see what they look like in the rapids. Every piece has been organized and warehoused to protect it. This material is truly historic as it helped hold back the Chattahoochee River for about 147 years. The timbers have a unique weathered look and they can be exposed in a building project for a beautiful antique look. These heart pine timbers can also be sawn up into lumber and used for almost any building project from flooring to furniture.
this is Jim Flournoy, owner and operator, Old River Sawmill. It was a wooden dam that held back the river while they built the stone dam. A lot of these timbers were hand hewed. A lot of them were had axe cut ends to them. Instead of cleaning up the ends like we might do in a, in a regular construction project today, they took these straight off the sawmill and they put them in back in the riverbed where they could build the dam. And they didn't even clean the ends up. They left the axe cut ends on the timbers. A lot of them still have axe cut ends, and a lot of them were hand hewed. A lot of them had hatchet marks and chisel marks in them because every situation was a little bit different and they had to make this wood conform to the bottom and they had to make it match up with each other. Some of them were augered holes that had wooden pegs in them. A lot of them were augered through the wood and into the rock where they drove large steel pins in them. This material is truly historic as it helped hold back the Chattahoochee River for about 147 years. If you think you might want to look at some of this material, give us a ring at 334-312-2935. Just give us a ring and we'll let you take a look at it. It might be a real historical aspect that you can put in your home. These heartbind timbers can be sawn up into lumber and used for almost any building project from flooring to furniture. It'll be something that you and your family will talk about and cherish forever. I can also take these beams and take my little wood miser sawmill and saw it up into anything that you might need. If you need a specific size beam, I can work on that. If you need flooring blanks, I can saw that up.